Hey, real quick, you guys remember the other day I did a core daily and uh, part of core daily, uh, I started it out. I was screwing around with this end dust bottle thing and I shot the little nozzle out. And it just, it was, it was an accident. Didn't mean it to happen, but it wasn't attached very well and it went firing over there. Well, I never did go try to find it. Guess where I found it yesterday? Dog poop. The dog ate it. They ate the nozzle. Freaking dogs, dude. You think that's bad? I have an even worse story for Monday. All right, let's get down to it. We got a comment on a recent video uh, here on the YouTube channel, which, you know, if you don't think I read your, or don't read your comments, you're wrong. I do. Not only do I reply to them, I sometimes pull them out and we make them part of an upcoming core daily. And that's what's happening today. Here's what listener War Pig Roadkill said. I have to watch this, meaning my Diablo 4 playthrough video. I have to watch this since they won't release the game for Mac OS, despite the other Diablo games being native to Mac OS. Blizzard forced us into using the Battle.net app and then it's slowly only showing PC games. It's a shame they made some solid games back in the day and those were a joy to dip in and out of when Blizzard released a game you knew it would be around for a good few years, so it was worth the investment. Now games are going down the path the same as music. Take the new PS5 controller screen thingy, he means Project Q. It's just to get people into the streaming content. Soon it will be like Netflix and simply delivering to a screen only device. Sorry, end of what could have been a massive rant. Love the show. Well, war pig roadkill. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I understand. I understand your feeling. There's always been, Blizzard's always been a strong supporter of, of, of Mac gaming. They just always have since the very beginning, their games have always come out for PCs and Macs. And that was no different all the way up until 2016 when they did not release a Mac version of Overwatch. And the reason they didn't do that is at the time, the Intel based Macs and GPUs that were included with them were not powerful enough to run the game at a reasonable frame rate or performance or, you know, they just couldn't deliver it in the way that they wanted to. And I know for a fact, having talked to some people internally whose names I will not mention, they were frustrated with that. They wanted their Mac, their loyal Mac players to be able to play Overwatch at the time. So you had Diablo 3 on there, you had Heroes of the Storm on there, you had World of Warcraft on there, all their major retail release games that they were continually supporting were available on Mac and running great. Those games I just mentioned still do. They still run fine on a Mac, but it does it does seem like it stopped there. Well, it it did stop there. They haven't had a brand new game since then that has run on Mac, at least not at launch. That being said, I know people will run parallels or do other kind of hack and, you know, hackintosh business to get their Macs to run uh, a modern Blizzard game in the same way that people are getting it to run on their Steam decks and other devices. So, so we're not going to get into that today, but like as far as like native support, like you brought up in your comment, you're absolutely right. That all slowed and stopped. It's impossible to just lay that all to feet of Blizzard though. Um, they're trying to make modern games and the Max, I'm a big Apple fan. I like uh, Apple stuff, but I'll admit, I'll be the first to admit they're terrible at keeping up with the gaming side of things. They're not putting out the kind of hardware that gamers expect to be able to play their games on, unlike what's happening on PCs with Nvidia and AMD and everybody else and the GPUs are, you know, an, an insane amount of power. It's just not happening at that rate on the Mac. All right, well, let's talk about Diablo 4 though. Dev began, or dev on that game began like seven years ago or something to that level, okay? Maybe even beyond that, but, but you know, most of the work began about seven years ago. And the Mac at that point was really lagging behind. We were we were still in the Intel phase. Things were not great on the GPU front. Like I mentioned before, it just wasn't a great time to be developing intense 3D, high resolution, high fidelity games on, on the platform. And so why would they try to do parallel development for that environment when they knew they were gonna just, it just wasn't gonna work, okay? So I sort of understand it, but had dev begun today, I think it might've been different. The proliferation of Apple Silicon has made every Mac you buy today pretty freaking capable. I'm blown away by how amazing even the lowliest freaking Mac Mini with an M1 chip in it does with modern 3D gaming. And I, I do think that it had, had the timing been different, I think maybe we would be playing a version of Diablo 4 for Silicon based max. The Intel people would probably have to upgrade, but I think it would have probably happened. And that also tells me that it could still happen. There may be a time down the road a year from now. I don't know. This is me making this up. I have no inside knowledge, but I could see a reality where, where Blizzard says, you know what, they're, we're in a good place now. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and put the port over there. So for them, it's always been a value of, and this is true of a lot of devs, it's an issue of value in uh, how much value you're putting into your dev time versus how much audience you're going to get on the back end. If you're going to do a bunch of work on the Apple side, are you going to get the players or enough to justify it? And I don't know what all those exact numbers are, but I, I, I tend to think that 
as good as Macs are, it's so many things that they do. Gaming is just weird, right? But you can install Steam and have a ton of modern 3D game experiences. And those are uh, running great. In fact, so great that I think, especially on silicon-based Macs, I'm pretty sure that, again, if they wanted to, a native version of 4 would probably run really well. I mean, define really well, Scott. I don't know. Probably not really well. You might have to tone down this or that because, you know, the built-in GPUs still aren't insane. But they're still better integrated graphics than they've had for years. I'm still pretty sure we never see Overwatch or Overwatch 2. Well, we'll never see Overwatch because Overwatch 1 was shut down. But Overwatch 2 probably never make it here. I think it could. Like, fidelity-wise, I think we're there. But again, I, I don't think they see value in the base, the base of players versus the work it'll take for them to do it. In Diablo's case, I think there's just a better argument for more people would play it. So yeah, this age-old thing with Max. I mean, I remember back in the day, this is where Marathon started. You guys remember that? Like, brand new Marathon announced, what, a week ago from the PlayStation event? And uh, that's coming to all platforms except Max. Uh, and it's it's going to be like this, uh, you know, return to whatever mar people think Marathon was, although it appears to be mostly a multiplayer experience. But back in the day, Marathon was a game you played on a freaking Macintosh. That's where it happened. Bungie made Mac games. A lot of developers made Mac games and they were great and they were memorable and they were awesome. And they stood toe to toe with whatever the equivalent was happening over on on x86 based PCs. So in the end, there's really no great answer. Um, as a Mac fan who uses it every day for production, I make everything you see me do here, right here on the show every day, all produced on a Mac, all my podcasts are produced here, uh, all my live streams, all my everything, everything graphic I do, all that stuff. There are, it's an amazing environment to get work done in. It is not, in a modern sense, an amazing place to play a lot of games, all right? It's just not the place to be. If you're trying to play with a mouse and keyboard on a desktop or even a controller, but if you want a, a personal computer gaming experience, big of an Apple fan as I am, I will be the first to admit, you're gonna probably wanna get a PC, which is where I'm playing Diablo, of course, and most of the games that I play. All right, I love questions like this and I like exploring this stuff, so please send us more. You can do them in the comments like always, or you can send us an email or a voicemail even to 801-471-0462, or you can email us at talktothecore at gmail.com. I look forward to it. Catch the longer conversation on Thursday nights normally, although tonight, it's Friday today when I'm recording this, tonight we are doing core because last night Diablo launched and I think Bo played for 10 and a half hours. I, he's got a story to tell. He may play while we're on the show. I don't know. We got a real addict on our hands. We'll talk to him about it later though. Um, I know John's been playing as well. Everybody's been playing. So we used last night to get our feet wet. We will have a lot to say tonight. It will not be a wall-to-wall -wall Diablo show though. We have plenty of other stuff to discuss. So tune in for the regular podcast wherever you get your shows. That's core on all the directories or just go to frogpants.com slash core and you can get an audio version of this show right now, this core daily video business. You can get a version of that on its own feed, all right? And that is linked over at frogpants.com slash core. Go check it out today. All right, now this. There is nothing quite like Bo playing guitar and improv the lyrics to a hot new rock song. <laughs> See you Monday. Put it on a plate. I want that bacon. Put it on a plate. I'm a dog who's late for his date. Keep that music going. I'm a dog who wants bacon. Give me that bacon. <laughs>